In this video, we're going to discuss how you can create dialogues with uh, repeating sections. Uh, repeating section is a very powerful um, feature of a dialogue component that allows you to very easily create uh, master detail type uh, forms. So let's start out by creating a brand new dialogue and we'll go here and start adding controls to the dialogue. And I'm going to just uh, paste uh, from the clipboard a bunch of controls that I'd like to place on this uh, dialogue. And you can see here these uh, controls um, suggest a simple invoice application. So we've got invoice number, which is numeric, invoice date, which is a date field, the uh, customer name, and then we have description, quantity, price, extended, total. Uh, for the line items, tax, uh, shipping, grand total, and then just notes uh, as a character field. So let's go ahead now and uh, place those controls uh, on the dialog. And uh, then when we go to uh, working preview, you can see um, that dialog at this point looks nothing like an invoice. So now let's go and select the fields that we'd like to place in the repeating section. So everything from description, through extended total of fields that should go into our repeating section. So we'll select those fields and then we'll go to containers and we'll choose container begin and we'll insert those fields in a container and then we'll go to the container subtype here and we'll choose uh, repeating section. Now we'd also like uh, the fields in the repeating section to all be on the same line. So we'll select those fields and then go to the shortcut menu over there and turn off the line break between those controls. And now when we go to working preview, we have something that looks um, a lot like an invoice. And uh, as you can see here, um, we initially are showing five um, items in the repeating section. And that's because um, we've set the repeat count over here to five. Uh, we can also put in dividers between each um, item in the repeating section. So now you can see there's a little dotted line between uh, each uh, repeating section. Uh, if I were to go there and change that, say, to uh, three, now we would um, only see three lines in our repeating section, but that's not going to limit the user at runtime. Uh, you can see here that I can um, go here and add new rows uh, to the um, uh, the dialog component at runtime to add more rows as necessary or if I don't need certain rows I can uh, delete rows um, from the uh, uh, repeating section as well. Now these two icons over there have been placed um, because I've uh, checked the property that says allow add rows and allow uh, delete rows. Uh, we also basically are only showing the labels on the first row of the repeating section uh, but I can go here and change that to all rows and now you can see the repeating section repeats the labels in each row um, uh, of the repeating uh, of the repeating section. So repeating sections are a very powerful feature in the dialog component that allow you to create uh, master detail forms and there's no limit to the number of repeating sections you can have. Um, uh, in a dialog component. So uh, in this case we only have one repeating section for our line items uh, but you certainly uh, are not limited to a single repeating section. Thanks very much.